Hey everyone, welcome to Mommy and Me Yoga. This is a short core sequence. This is baby Adla. She's about six and a half months. Um, before you do anything, just make sure that you have the okay from your doctor. So some of the things you might want before we get started is a burp cloth. And I like to have a larger burp cloth and then I'm sitting on her bobby or her nursing pillow right now. So let's start just connecting to your baby. I like to have her in my lap. You can have her facing away from you or towards you. And I like to take her arms and just kind of rock side to side. Just connect. You might want to look down. And just starting to breathe, because I know sometimes as moms we forget to breathe, as crazy as that sounds. You could even do a little rocking in a circle. You can enjoy being, being bit or being sucked on while you're doing this. And switch directions if you're doing the circles. And just remember, this is just a time to connect with your baby, showing them, sharing with them something that you love to do. And then sit up nice and tall. Let's just take a couple breaths. So on an inhale, open their arms nice and wide. And an exhale, bring them forward. Open the arms, inhale. Exhale, bring them forward. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Big inhale, arms can open up. Exhale, close the arms. And we'll come onto hands and knees for cat cow. So you can take your little one and you can either place them on their back. I know Adla likes to be on her back and look up at me. Or you could always take them and place them on their stomach or you could place them on your boppy and place them on their stomach. So come onto hands and knees for cat cow. And just take your arms around your baby. And you'll inhale as you drop belly. Exhale, you're going to round the spine. And since you just had a baby, you don't need a lot of stretch in that front belly. So I like to just do a little bit of a cow stretch and then a nice big cat stretch. And your baby likes to hear you breathing. So you could go just making eye contact. I'm making an audible breath. And again, just sort of interacting, just playing and connecting with your baby. And then coming into Anahata Asana, so your hands come up around your baby's head and just starting to lean back. And you can give little belly kisses as you open up your back. And then coming back into your cat cow. And making sure you have a nice flat back here. So what you don't want to have is the droop in the belly. So this is a nice core strengthener and back strengthener. So just plant your hands and stretch your right leg all the way back. And have a nice flex in the foot. And again, keep your back nice and flat. And you'll feel that nice strengthening in your lower back. And if you really have a good balance today, what you can do is you can tickle your baby with your left hand. Or you could reach your left arm forward. Tickle the baby with your left hand. Reach your left arm forward. A couple more times. Tickle baby. Left arm reaches forward. Two more. Left arm forward. Last time. Left arm forward. And release. Anahata Asana. Again, the arms come forward. Just stretching, melting your heart down. Maybe even some little belly kisses on the way down.
coming back down to hands and knees. And again, just check it out. Make sure that you don't have that belly sort of coming way down. I know I was guilty of that and I still am, even though she's six and a half months old. And when you're ready, stretching your left foot back. And I like to keep my right toes tucked just because she's under me and it provides a little bit more balance. And then when you're ready, right hand comes to their belly, gives them little tickles. Right arm reaches forward. Right arm tickle the belly. Right arm reaches forward. Right arm tickles the belly. Right arm reaches forward. Couple more times. Right arm forward. Right arm forward last time. And and bring that left foot down. Just come to sit on your heels for a moment. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath. Um, pick up your baby. And we'll come up, we'll set up for boat pose Navasana. And depending on how heavy your baby is, you might want to change some things up. So your boat pose might be with your baby propped up on your knees, your chest nice and high, and just taking some nice deep breaths. You could even take turns having your right hand down on the ground. Hold the baby with your right hand, place your left hand down on the ground. So this one was a good start for me as I was just rebuilding strength in my core. If you'd like to add a little bit more of a challenge, and like I said, and you have it okay with your doctor, what you can do is lift up the knees. <laughs> and looking at your baby makes this a little bit more bearable. Yes, it does. And if you have the breath, you can maybe sing a little boat song. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And then take a little breather and give your baby a little hug, a little smooch. Catch your breath. Again, you can stay right here. You can alternate those hands. You could give your baby some more smooches. Or if you want a little bit more core work, you can prop them up onto your knees. Again, keep your chest nice and lifted. Lift the toes up, and maybe sing again. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And then come forward, yeah, big smooch. All right, so let's come into low lunge on Janiyasana. And let's start with the right foot forward. So right foot comes forward, back knee comes down. You can hold on to your baby. I like to, depending on how she's doing, just place her right on my knee. So I like to lift myself up nice and tall. See, I was just kind of guilty of the sway back just there. Lift yourself up nice and tall. I'm just feeling a nice stretch here. And again, depending on how you're feeling, you can maybe lift your baby up, get a little bit of an arm workout. Oh. 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 oh boy. Maybe even give him or her a little bounce. Boop, 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 boop. And just remember to breathe and just have fun. Yay, we're in John Janey Asana. Yay. And switching sides. So left foot comes forward, back knee down, setting your baby up on your left knee. And again, just getting nice and tall, feeling that stretch in your right thigh. <sighs> just taking, to taking a moment to admire what you've created. And again, you could stay here and just admire, or you could maybe get a little arm Work in. Bonjour, bonjour. 
and be careful not to fall over. <laughs> and coming on down. Okay. Oh. It's okay, honey. So we'll take it down to the floor. And as you can see, sometimes you can make it through one pose, sometimes you can make it through the whole thing. It just depends on the day. And if you're coming down to the floor, grab those burp cloths because full disclosure, I have had some spit up showers when I've been in Shavasana before, but it's no worries. It's all about all about the yoga and accepting things the way they are. So coming on down to the ground, and I like to put baby next to me, sitting up or laying down. And we'll come into a spinal twist. So, arms out beside you, and just drop your knees over to the right side. Oh. Just feeling that nice stretch. And usually baby likes to lay there with you and see how we're kind of cocooned together. You can even give a couple kisses in your spinal twist. And then just switching side. Knees come over to the left, arms still out in that T position. <sighs> this is another one of those poses that I have to do every day because with all that lifting and carrying a baby and bending over and feeding, your low back can get pretty messed up. And this really helps to relieve some discomfort. And then setting up for a mini Shavasana. So just stretching out the legs. And again, you can leave babes where she is if she's happy. Or you can take baby and place her on your chest. And again, this isn't a traditional Shavasana where everything's fully, where you're fully still and everything's calm. You're just in really enjoying your baby. You're connecting. Okay. Just taking a moment where the soul focus is just on you and your baby and connecting. back up. You can stay down here for as long as you'd like, but if you're ready to finish or Babes is ready to finish, you can come back up to a seated position. So I like to hold on to the Babes back and just use my arms to prop myself up and come back into that seated position where we started. And again, just taking one moment just to close your eyes, take a breath. I know in the day to days we can get lost. We can see monotonous or even just like the days are running together. So it's nice to take these moments of gratitude, really honoring you and your baby and that special bond that you have. Mm -hmm. Namaste to you and your little one. Mm -hmm.